What is good, everyone? It is your favorite multi cardboard selling producer. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And today, I'm gonna be reacting to and breaking down Carrera by Benny. Gonna be breaking down the music production side of the song because I know that not a lot of people know much or anything at all about the music production side of things. I'm a music producer, I've been making music for a while, four years producing, seven years in total. You think I'm lying to you? Just look at my channel, okay? Got the receipts, okay? I'm about this. <laughs> But I'm gonna break down the production so you can connect with your favorite music, favorite songs, favorite artists in a more deeper, personal way, okay? Let me take you to my screen, get straight into it, and yeah, let's go. Also, I'm gonna leave a little thing up here and a link down in the description to listen to my most recently produced song. I really appreciate it if you check it out. It's a reggaeton song with an artist in Spain. So if you like those types of vibes, I think you like that one, all right? Let's go. Whoa! Hold on, hold on. First off, really nice texture with the wave sounds. I'm pretty sure this is just from the video. I just love hearing ocean sounds. And those sh sh simulating the shooting stars falling down, which is Benny, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> And the wind, the water. I'm gonna just let it play because this is self-explanatory. It's all coming from the video. Besides that little that you hear, that's an ambience, okay? Mostly used in cinematic movies, which is what this is right now in the intro. Okay, so that's just some ambience, some that bell that you hear, that that's just a drone, okay? A type of drone, which a drone is just a tone. So it's the setting, okay? So it's usually in the high registers, high octaves. So that's why it sounds like that. But that's just to add some character, some life, okay? Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me break that down because that came in really nice. Okay, if you watched my reaction before, you already know what that is. That is a riser, okay? Which risers that and it's doing what the name says it's doing, okay? It's rising, transitioning into the next part, which is the beginning of the song, okay? Really cool, nice way to start it off. Now, let me start with the drums, okay? <laughs> I would say that this is a kick, right? The doom. No, it's a stomp. A stomp is similar to a kick, but it's usually used in pop, okay? So, for example, this is a pop melody, pop rhythm going on right now, okay? So, instead of a kick, which just sounds like doom, a stomp has that little extra character, so it doesn't sound like boom. It sounds like a like a stomp you feel me so that's what that is it's not a kick okay usually it would be a kick but in this case it is a stomp then that is a clap super simple pattern boom 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 super simple okay leaving a lot of space i'm excited to hear how they're gonna sound like they're all beautiful oh my goodness and now the instruments okay right now I explained the drums. Now the instruments, it's a really funky sort of guitar rhythm going on with an electric guitar. It sounds really nice in the right ear. That's where I'm hearing it right now. All right, it sounds really full, but I hear it mostly on the right side, which is really good because guitars are usually panned to the right, okay? Panning basically just means playing through a specific direction in the direction of your ears, okay? Guitars, most of the time, sound really nicely being played to the right. So in this case, to the right, what it's being played in right now. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. And you hear that ding, ding. Dun, 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 dun. That's just a really pretty bell melody. A bell coming from a synth, from a VST, which is a virtual synthesizer. I'm pretty sure it came from a virtual synthesizer. I'm going to show you a few examples of some right here. Just so you know 
what I'm talking about, okay? But it's a really pretty bell. I love the melody it's playing right now. Dun, 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 dun. Man, it just started and I'm already loving it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me run that back. Now it added a plug bass, okay? So that's what you hear in the background, that dong, dong, dong. That is a plug bass. Simply put it, it's in the name, okay? It's a bass that's sounding like a plug. Therefore, plug bass. That's what that is, okay? That establishes a really nice rhythm, commonly used in pop. I see now this is a very poppy song, very pretty poppy song. I'm loving it so far. And now the pace picked up a little bit with the clap as well. So instead of just going like, now it's going like, duh, duh, duh. pick up the pace, switch up the rhythm a little bit and really get into the actual beginning of the song. And the guitar still playing on your right, the rhythm going as well. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. On that what did i say that was a riser yes riser just to transition little transitions to the next little sections of each part adds a lot of little details that make the biggest difference i love hearing those little details that you don't really hear in a majority of music nowadays you could tell that this was really crafted for them had love and care put behind it First, with instruments, I'm loving how this is progressing. I am so hyped for the drop. Oh my goodness. But now, the instruments, okay? What was added is... That is a sort of string. Can't say exactly what it is because it's kind of difficult to tell right now. But it's in a high octave, okay? Which basically means just high up in the in the keyboard, okay? So that's why it sounds high. But I'm pretty sure it's a string lead, okay? Which basically just means it's a violin playing singular note but in a specific melody okay it's just basically a high string melody it was either played live like recorded in by a session musician or or being played with a really real sounding synthesizer with those strings either or okay but either way it sounds so beautiful. It's adding to that prettiness. It's really like jungle type of setting in an island. Really fire. And you hear the string melody in your left. It's a violin being played really high on your left, okay? While the guitar plays on your right. So you could hear all of the instruments in an even way. Okay, that's a trick that a lot of producers use. Panning, okay? Panning is super useful for the listener to be able to listen to each individual instrument to its full potential. So instead of having everything be in one direction in the middle, correct? It's in multiple directions, like in an actual stage performance. Feel me? You hear this instrument here, this one here, how it should be. Now the drums. <laughs> that's an open hand okay and it's being played in between the clap and the boom right which is what creates that groove that that is an open hand okay Ooh, dun, dun, dun. was that a hi-hat hold on Ooh, and a nice little hi-hat being played on top of it too. So the open hat is right, but there's a little hi-hat pattern going on in the background. Super sneaky, but I caught it, okay? It's going like along with the open hat. Really subtle, but I love it. Hold on. Oh my gosh. And that whoosh. So again, that's the third riser, I'm pretty sure. Super buyer production, bro. I love it. I love how the electric guitar chords picked up as well. They got progressively louder. Dun, 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 simulating a feeling of more intensity. Just imagining the guitar player actually, you know, 
picking up the pace, getting more intense with it. It really gives you that feeling of excitement for the next part. Okay, let's listen to the chorus. Really nice drum fill right there then dun, 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 to transition into the chorus. A drum fill is typically used to transition into the next section of a song. So in this case, it was chorus. This drum fill was most likely from some drums or some really like islandish type of drums. Okay, maybe a bongo and another percussion, maybe some sticks of wood. I don't know, but something like that. Okay because it sounded really natural and really jungly, really islandish. So I'm gonna go with that, okay? But yes, that is a drum fill. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on, let me run the back. Wow, wow, I love how that came in. Okay, so now drums first, okay? It's going with a simple four on the floor pattern. Four on the floor simply means the kick is going like doom, 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 doom. Second, the snare or clap in this case. So right now it is a clap, okay? It's going on every second kick, okay? So it's going doom, 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 doom. That establishes a simple floor on the floor pattern. Let me listen if there's an open hat. <laughs> Yes, they switched the open hat from the beginning. So they still have that ns, ns rhythm going on, right? But now instead, it's with a different open hat sound. This one sounds a little bit more quieter. You hear it in your right ear more. It's a lot more subtle and it sounds a lot more smaller, you feel me? Which is allowing them to have space to be able to do what they're doing right now. And there is a hi-hat pattern going in the background as well, okay? So that tuk 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 is going really nicely in the background, super subtle. It's just going dung 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 dung, which is a two-step hi-hat pattern, simply put it, okay? So four drum elements plus the bass, okay? Is allowing them to have a good bounce, a good groove going, but not too much to the point where they can't really sing over it and melodize over it. Fire. Simple but fire. <laughs> And that, th 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 that is coming from a synthesizer, okay? That's a really nice pluck. It's either a pluck or a bell coming from a synthesizer. Super simple. Adding some little details, accentuating the melody between the end of each line. Super fire. Th 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 Super arcade ish. Gives you that feeling of nostalgia. I love it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. There you go. Now, let's start with the drums. The open hats from the beginning were brought back, okay? The louder ones. Now they're being played on the left a little bit more. So, you know, in parallel to the ones from the section before this, before the main chorus, this one is the original one. On the left, a lot louder, a lot more present, which makes sense because this is the actual chorus now. Super fire. So now the drums picked up the pace a little bit. Feel me sounding more powerful. But the thing that added the most power to this, all right, and just adds that emotion is that melody going on in the background. Hold on. I'm pretty sure it's the bell melody. Let me listen to it again. <laughs> Okay, yeah, the bell melody, dun, 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 that high bell melody from the beginning. And now some synthesizer chords were added, okay? Some really nice synth chords, which is what established that feeling of fullness because the way it sounded like before, it dropped, correct? The pre-chorus, yes, the pre-chorus. The way it sounded like in the pre-chorus, it sounded kind of empty, right? Instrumental-wise. But now, that was for a reason. That was to build up and get you by surprise with this, with the main chorus. The way the producer did that, simply added some really nice chords using a synthesizer, an instrument that was not present in the song before. So everything before this was essentially a build up to this. So slowly adding instrument by instrument. And then finally, 
having you ready for this. And even if the producer had you prepared and everything, right? It still catches you by surprise because it sounds so incredible when it actually drops. I love it. Oh my gosh. And that shh. That's an open hat, okay? Which is starting at every one at the very beginning of each of their parts just to add some accent. Feel me? Just to add some energy. Once again, these little details, incredible. <laughs> that impact i mean that stomp boom fire the guitar the bell We got the plug bass back, the dong dong dong. We got the super simple stomp, the dong and the clap going. Okay, so I already heard this pattern. Keep listening, see if anything new comes in. Oh, oh, I like that little beautiful. Oh my gosh, and I love that melody going on on your left. It sounds so luscious, so pretty. Okay, now that is coming from a lead. I just noticed it now, okay? But I'm pretty sure that's coming from a lead, a lead. I already explained what that is, but if not, I'm gonna put a definition up here. Yep, that is what a lead is, okay? Okay, we already broke this part down, so let's just keep this. Wait, hold on. I have those headphones. I have the same headphones except blue. Oh my gosh. Product placement for the win. I love this. I love this. I love that. that, 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 that thing. Gives such an arcade ish sort of Pac Man type of vibe. I love it. I love it. And that bass with the bass guitar going on in the back is super groovy. I love how natural and organic this sounds. Yes, just take it slow. Life is not a race. That's real. That's that's real. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Doom. That is a snap, okay? That is exactly what I just did. A snap, okay? With a kick, a super simple kick. Doom. And that chk chk. That was just a sound effect imitating a uh, DJ scratch. And that doom, the stomp added. Oh my goodness. This is a really nice build up to the dance break, to the dance breakdown. Oh my gosh. That shh to transition into the dance break. Oh, hold on. Yes, yes. And these were actually used. You hear the. That is these. Fire. I love this. I love this. Super simple drum bounce. But it's really bouncy. I love it. Oh. Yep, yep. I'm pretty sure a bongo is being used right now. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. Which is a simple pan automation going from the right to the left. Automation just means playing a specific effect for a specific amount of time for a specific sound or group of sounds. Okay, so in this case, the bongo going from the right to the left. Super fire. Oh. the piano chords dun, dun. this is so fun to listen to this group has not disappointed me at all okay this is my third song by them i listened to cherry on top sanami sanami and this is my third one okay so far this is actually my favorite production from them so far this is so fun like the other two right but i don't know this one just gives me a different type of vibe i i, I love it i love it <laughs> 
Okay, so now the clap is not playing for this pattern, okay? Now it's a snare, okay? So a snare is that doom. So it's not, it's doom. Super groovy piano chord progression in the background. Dung, dung, da dung. All the instruments just came here for this verse add a lot of emotion i love her flow i already broke down the instrumental part of this so let's just keep listening i'm just vibing bro I oh, oh, oh it took out the low end elements the low end instruments which the low end instruments just take it as a kick in the bass okay because those two are based in the low end frequencies of an eq okay over the frequency spectrum i'm gonna put an image up here so you can get an idea of what that looks like okay yeah around that area those are low end elements okay those are the sounds that give the uh, that doom type of sound the producer removed those sounds from here and just kept the high end elements such as the hi-hat the clap and her vocals okay just to finish the verse off in a really different way to get you hyped up for the next part just get rid of some elements that have been playing for a majority of the song or for a majority of that specific section to switch it up a little bit then just bring them back in the next section give you a nice little breather but then once you exhale they come back fire <laughs> I take that back. The low end elements did not come back. Now this is gonna build up a super. This is gonna be a super fire build up into the final chorus. Oh my goodness! Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> that lead melody on the left again so far that has been my favorite sound that i've been hearing oh my god gosh they're just having so much fun bro i just imagine them in the studio just oh my god this is fire let me I love how that uh, just came in. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now I was doing a super simple four on the floor from before, like earlier in the song, that dun, bun, dun, bun, which is perfect. Okay, it's a simple rhythm that's really allowing her to be able to flow how she's flowing. I love it. And now the chords from the piano switched up a little bit. They're the same chords, but instead of being held for dung, they're being played like dung, 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 like you hear in that rhythm, okay? To add movement, you feel me? Same exact chords, just a different rhythm, okay? To go along with her verse. Add groove, add bounce, add movement. Fire, bro. <laughs> that nice at the end of the pattern right there with the clap really nice really nice little subtle thing we, we ha I haven't heard that before from earlier so this was new love the little details bro love it gosh i love how their vocals are filling up my ears like one member's being played through here then another one through here so and then another one being played in the middle so like all three of them sound like they're in my mind right now i love it beautiful harmony i love the flow of this melody as well they're melodizing and harmonizing in perfect formation i love it <laughs> Oh, 
oh and you hear them you hear that in the background correct and it sounds sort of like a robotic type of voice that is her same vocals correct but engineer which is the person that mixes their voices into the beat into the instrumental and adds all those cool effects okay that basically makes their vocals sound the way they do okay he took that melody exactly what she's saying right and copy and pasted it into another layer in the song as something new as basically a new take that she recorded but it's the same one just add that effect okay and that effect that is being added is called a vocoder which every time you hear that sort of daft punk robotic type of sound on vocals on voices that is what that is that is a vocoder <laughs> Oh, and that, dun, 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 that really nice side chain chords with the synth. Really nice side chain effect, I mean. Wow. And that of them disappearing now. Wow. Super subtle details. I love them. The water. The ambience again. Wow. Wow sensational oh my gosh benny carrera what does that get from me overall the production i loved it this has been my favorite produced song so far by them but keep in mind i've only listened to three okay but this one, I really feel a connection with this instrumental, okay? It was just so joyful, so fun. And I could tell that all of them had so much fun making this song and bringing it to life. I just get good vibes, positive energy from this, and I love it. The production, incredible. Songwriting, incredible, honestly. Vocal performances, wow. They always impress me with their vocals, every single time. Their melodies, the harmonies that they hit, bro, fire. Insane, bro. Insane. They get this from me. Okay? But overall, Carrera, Benny, incredible. I loved it. I really am enjoying this group. I love this P-pop group. Yes, I've corrected myself. Thank you for the multiple corrections I got on my first reaction from them. Okay? Yes, I love this P-pop group. But in all seriousness, super talented group of individuals i have loved every single one of their songs i love the way they sound the way their aesthetics are in all of their videos but most importantly i just love their energy i can tell there's just genuine people genuine friends having fun doing what they love and that is a beautiful thing about music this is real and i love this group seriously recommend me more songs to break down below in the comments all right pancho pico is my next one okay so recommend me some more that you think i would like but most importantly that you would like to have breaking down okay because i know that not a lot of people know much or anything at all about the musical production side of things so don't worry that's why i'm here okay you want to learn about the musical production side of things i got you i'm gonna make sure that you develop that stronger deeper connection with your favorite songs artists and music okay I got you. That's gonna do it for this one. Remember the link to my recently produced song is gonna be down here in the description. I'd appreciate it if you take a listen, leave a like, comment, so you came from here. If you like this video, you learned something new, you feel me? And I appreciate you so much. But either way, I appreciate you. I hope you have an incredible day or night wherever you are in this huge world. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. See you guys in the next one. Much love. Izoki out.